All right, finally, what the heck are tangents and double naped cones? So just a brief uh, conversation about tangents. A tangent, um, unlike a secant, it connects at one and only one point and then it's going to be a linear line. So a tangent would be, uh, this would be a tangent point and a tangent line. I'm hitting at one point. Uh, it's a terrible parabola, it's a terrible tangent line, but I'm hitting at exactly one point versus that secant, which connects at two points. Um, they should have hit each other, but a secant, which connects at two points. So that's what our tangent line is. In calculus, and since this is pre-calculus, in calculus, the tangent line is something you solve for quite often or have to understand about. So this is just a very quick preview. But what the heck is a double naped cone? Uh, that was for a different... Uh, class, sorry, I should have taken out that slide, but we do need some formulas for you to recognize and understand. So please do make sure you've copied down these formulas somewhere, um, or if you just recall this information, then maybe you, you recognize the slope formula is your change in y over your change in x. The distance formula is the square root of your change in x squared plus your change in y squared. So maybe you recall those, but maybe it might be smart to write those down. You do need that information when you're solving these things and as you move into calculus those are formulas that are an x they're just expected they won't provide those for you so i've got a visual aid about um understanding conics hopefully it plays it does okay a youtube inside of youtube Most important information. If a plane intersects a double white circular cone, we get two dimensional curves of different types. And this is where conics comes These from. These curves are called conic sections. Depending on the angle made by the plane or the vertical axis of the cone, the plane can come to the cone in three different ways. When the plane intersects the double point circular cone in such a way that the angle between the plane and the axis is greater than the vertex angle, we get a closed curve called an ellipse. When the plane is perpendicular to the axis, the ellipse becomes a circle. Thus, a circle is a special type of ellipse, parabola. When the angle made by the plane to the vertical axis is exactly equal to the vertex angle, we get an open curve called a parabola at the intersecting surface of the cone, hyperbola. The plane intersects only one half of the double white circular cone as long as the angle between the plane 
need to know about degenerate conics. Um, so that it's mostly I wanted you to see the three-dimensional uh, visual aid that was created and so that's actually where our conics come from but we did miss one concept. Um, the conic circle is created similar to the ellipse except the plane is held horizontal to create a perfect circle and so when we talk about eccentricity this is going to be an important concept. What eccentricity zero and what eccentricity one mean and what are the values in between and how they affect our conics. So thank you so much for understanding all of that. That was just a preview. Um, and so I'll see you guys in class.